What's happening, everybody? Sean joined again by my son, Trey. And today we got a war paint song battle. We got new song versus Ashes to Ashes, of course, a cover of the great. David Bowie, brought to us by a friend, longtime supporter and patron of the channel, CSN. Thank you, CSN. Thank you to all the patrons who make this thing go. Trey, you ever heard of War Paint? I have not. I have not either. Uh, I've heard of War Pigs. Uh, uh, yeah, I have as well. <laughs> but no War Paint. Um, they're an indie rock band from Los Angeles, California, formed in 2004. They've released four studio albums uh, to date. So uh, interesting uh, interesting to note right there. Yeah, and we got the ladies out here. We got Emily Coco on vocals and guitar, Teresa Wayman on vocals and guitar, Jenny Willie Lindberg on bass and vocals. And Stella Mazgawa on drums. So I guess it's going to be the, the ladies out there. Otherwise, guys, there's just not much out there on them. We're going to start out with a new song from the Heads Up album in 2016, their third studio album. All right. It is the weed single. We'll have the lyrics up as always. Thanks again. CSN. Fun, a fun opening. Yeah, not. You come on, you come along, and wash away the rain. You are the sun, you are the sun that leads me back to where I belong, where I come from. California vibe in the chorus yeah. right here.
All right. War paint, Trey. You said it had a little California vibe there in the course. Uh, what did you think of this one? I thought it was uh, pretty solid all around, man. Uh, definitely had a, a mixture of, you know, the indie, the electronic yeah. on, on the production, man. Um, and uh, that that chorus just uh, very repetitive, you know, stuck uh, stuck in the head. Yeah, yeah, that was the idea. Huh? Um, you know, and then the idea of, uh, you know, to, you find the new song and you add it to your playlist. You love it. And then um, you you just, uh, it's always great to find one of those new songs. It and then is. you keep playing it over and over. And, uh, you know, this song doesn't really delve into it, but uh, eventually you get tired of it. You get tired of it. Maybe right? that's but... the sequel to it, right? <laughs> and the guy is out the door. But, uh, yeah, good offering from War Paint there. I don't really have a lot to add to that. I, I thought the vocals were uh, were solid, you know, kind of messed with some pitching. And, yeah, they did, uh, some especially on the bridge. There. Um, so, you know, I... I didn't know what to expect, you know, with the name like War Paint. What you yeah, I didn't either. You know, I was thinking it would be a little more hard driving, <laughs> right? That's probably the idea of what they wanted us to do. So now, now we go to the great David Bowie in the cover of uh, Ashes to Ashes. Yeah. This is off The Fool, their uh, 2010 debut album. I could see their sound being... Uh, applicable to this song. Yeah, I a can too. Certain degree.
right now with that iconic piano. You yeah. Know that. All right, ashes to ashes, almost a dream pop delivery there. I mean, what, what did you think of that? No, I think they were able to uh, to blend their um, type of sound. Not that we're <laughs> very familiar with well, yeah, but <laughs> just going off of the first track uh, with this right here. And um, whereas Bowie's version on uh, Scary Monsters and Super Creeps, you know, one of, one of my favorite uh, Bowie albums right there, uh, you know, it, it keeps with more of a, I don't know if ominous is the word, but uh, it, uh, almost a more... Um, I know uh, what you mean. Yeah, I, I, I can't find the word. Not creepy vibe, but a bit of off kilter type yeah, of vibe. That's, that's a good uh, it's a because I mean, really, you you dive into the lyrics, right? It's not a, a happy go lucky no, song no, no, by it, any it means. It's not at all. Um, as it's uh, you know, kind of a a sequel in a sense to you know Bowie's tune Space Odyssey. We get the major Tom, the uh, the dealing with the uh, you know, the drug use yep, and the, strung out in heaven's high. And so uh, all that to say, um, I thought they you know they kept the iconic uh, you know piano right there yeah. and some the the string but then they um were able to uh, to put it in their um own unique uh, type of sound and in style and it's tough uh, covering uh, such a monster type it of track definitely is yeah especially in your debut um but uh, as you noted that they uh, they put their own spin on it and uh, you know didn't just try to do a bar for bar uh, cover of this song right here so uh, i i enjoyed it man i was curious how they were gonna um, pull it off, and uh, I thought they, uh, I thought they did a. I was as job. well, because you know I'm not the biggest cover yeah. kind of fan of things, but yeah, not not a bad offering at all. So now we go to our winner train. I can go first because new song for me was okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just fine. I mean, I didn't dislike it. It was just kind of just a run of the mill song for me. I thought mm -hmm. this one was a little bit better, so I'm going to go with Ashes to Ashes. What do you got? Going the Ashes to Ashes vibe. Um, man, it's tough because I I do. Uh, Ash to Ash is just a, such a great I know. song, and I, I know, know it's it. hard. So uh, you know what? I'll give the nod to Ashes to Ashes here as well. Okay. Um, and so yeah, we're uh, we're sweeping, we're sweeping right here. So uh, with that said, let us know which of these two tracks you have coming out on top, and if you have any other War Paint uh, um, uh, suggestions or you know thoughts on the band, let us know in the comments down below as well as sharing some love to CSN for yes. requesting this battle for us today. But uh, I guess that'll do it from here. So until next time, y'all, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see ya.